Hello, and thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be on how I made my ghost cardinal copia, copia beretta hat. I hope you enjoy the video, thank you for watching, and let's get into it. The materials that I used are as shown. Three different kinds of sharp scissors, cardstock, felt, the strongest duct tape I could find, scotch clear double sided tape, a yard stick, Krylon high strength spray adhesive, and most importantly I got the templates off of Etsy in a downloadable PDF pack for $6.66. Now keep in mind that you can use whatever materials you'd like to make this more accurate. This is simply what they had available at my local arts and crafts store. Okay, let me start by saying that there are many ways to do this. This is simply the method that I used and it seems to have worked well for me. So the first thing that I did was made the veins for the bat wings. You need four of them, two for each side of the bat wing. I took four felt strips, sprayed them down with spray adhesive and folded them in half to give them some thickness. I took my template and marked on the piece of felt where I wanted the veins to be placed. Then I sprayed down some spray adhesive where I needed the veins to be located and placed them where I wanted them. And then I sprayed the whole piece of felt down with spray adhesive. and placed my piece of cardstock over that, making sure to line up the bottom of the stock with the felt. Then I lined up my template with the bottom of the felt and the cardstock, made sure that the veins were in the correct placing, and traced it out. Then I set it to the side to dry while I did the other pieces. And the next one I did the exact same way, just flipped the other direction. You'll see what I mean when you download the PDF pack and take a look at the templates. Now remember, there is a million different ways to do this. You could put the veins on the inside like I did, or you could put them on the outside. This is simply what I tried and it worked well for me. Now the next two were super simple because you don't have to add the veins. So you simply lay down the spray adhesive onto the felt and then lay the card stock on top of that making sure that the lines at the bottom are matching up and then press it to compress the spray adhesive. And then of course trace the template onto the card stock side. And then do the same exact method to the last template. 
There was five templates in the pack, but I only used the first four. The last template, I think, was just spare. So lay everything out and let it dry. Then after I let everything dry for about a half an hour, I cut out all my patterns around the template marks. And this is what I came out with. So now we're on to folding each piece and prepping it for assembly. It can be a little bit confusing to figure out which direction to make the folds in. But if you mess up, just fold it back the other way and it should be fine. I used a yardstick and pressed it against that to get clean, accurate folds. You can mark them with a pencil or you can go by eye off of the templates. I just went by eye off of the templates and I made out pretty well. So as you saw, the bottom flap you want to fold inward because those are the sides of the Beretta. And then the other two, you want to fold them outward so that it matches up with the other pieces of the template. The pieces that will become the sides go inward and the horn and the bat wing goes outward. You'll see what I mean when I place everything together and start the assembly. So once you have all the folds in all of your pieces, you're going to want to bust out your scotch tape, double sided, and your duct tape and start taping all the pieces together. And this is where you'll notice that I should have used red cardstock instead of black as you'll see a black outline throughout the Beretta. Try to ignore that and if you want to use the black outline get black, if you want it all to be red get red. Now all of the templates should match up nicely. Put the cardstock to cardstock with double sided tape on the wings and the horns. Then once you have it how you like it, add a piece of duct tape to the inside so that it won't come off when you're stretching it to put the other pieces in place like so. Now the template piece with the extra flap, you're going to want to bend that super hard and put a lot of double sided tape in there so that it sticks to the felt. And don't be afraid to do a little extra trimming here and there if it needs it. And now I'm just duct taping the sides together. Now keep in mind that when you download the Beretta template PDF pack off of Etsy, you're going to want to scale them before you print them to be as large or as small as you want the Beretta to come out. Now this next part is optional. If you find that the duct tape isn't holding the sides of the Beretta together well enough, you can buy colored staples on Amazon.
color them even more with a sharpie and then staple the sides together like this. It does leave a little staple mark, but if you're having trouble keeping it together, this is one solution. And that's pretty much it. Now you can use any materials you'd like to make it more accurate. This is just what I had access to at the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.